In this exercise, we're going to load in some sinks. Now, sinks are considered component families, just like such things as water closets, bathtubs, pieces of furniture. If you can master putting a sink into your project, you can put in just about any of those typical kinds of component families into your project environment. In this case, we really want to load in two sinks. One's going to be a sink that goes into each one of our different bathroom areas. We're also going to have a sink that'll be a kitchen sink that'll come into here in what more than likely be a break room area. To begin, let's zoom in on this part of our building. Now we need to load in some of those sinks. We can do that by coming underneath architecture, selecting on component, moving over to load family, scrolling down until we see plumbing because these are plumbing fixtures, going into the architectural folder, and then double clicking where it has fixtures. From here, we have a variety of different kinds of component families, showers and drinking fountains. But the ones, of course, that we want to load in are going to be sinks. So double click on sinks. From here, there's going to be two different ones that we want to load in. Now, the first one is going to be the sink double. And this is going to fit there in that break room area right in this location. The next will be one of these down here, and it's probably going to be the sink single 2D. Let's just check on it to verify. That'll work okay in this condition. Now, the key word here is 2D. This is actually a two-dimensional sink. Now, let's go through the process of loading this in, and then I'll describe why we think about using a two-dimensional sink. Hold down the control key, and then click on the sink kitchen double. And if sink single 2D isn't already highlighted, hold down your control key and click on that too. Click on open to load these in. Now the reason why we might have a two-dimensional sink, and that's what I'm looking at here in the preview underneath our properties, is that two-dimensional sinks take up a lot less space in Revit as far as file size is concerned or processing power is concerned within the Revit environment. So if you have a lot of different kinds of objects, particularly on larger projects, what you'll find is that putting two-dimensional components in instead of three-dimensional components will sometimes make the model less heavy, which means it'll be a faster project if you do it that way. You'll also discover that the way that it looks inside of a plan view won't be any different. So whether it's a two-dimensional sink or a three-dimensional sink, if you're looking straight down at it, you'll never be able to tell the difference between the two. So as a result of that, unless you absolutely need to see it in 3D, it's actually usually better to insert in two-dimensional components. They'll schedule the same way instead of three-dimensional components just because it's easier for Revit to process. So in this example, let's make sure that we use the sink single 2D. Move in here to our restroom area. And I'm just going to put a couple of wall-mounted ones here. And put a couple of wall-mounted ones over on the other side. And then hit escape whenever you're done. I'm going to come over here and we're going to place a sink into this sink hole. Now I do have a little minor design issue here that I don't like. I'm looking at this countertop and I'm seeing a hole right here and it's not centered on the casework underneath. So I'm going to select on the countertop first. Depending on the countertop, in some conditions you might have arrows that would allow you to drag the hole over to the right location. But since this does not have the arrows associated with this opening, we need to look underneath the properties of this particular countertop to move it over. Here I can see that the sink location is 3 foot 3. Change that to be 5 foot and then move your mouse over into this direction. I can see that's over a little bit too far. So we're going to change this to be 4 foot now and move our mouse over in this location. And we can see that it shifted it up and then shifted it back down again. So now this is more centered inside of this cabinetry or this piece of casework that's underneath. Now that we've done that and we know that the hole is in the right location, let's place the sink in there. To do that, come underneath the Architecture tab again, select on Component, and in this case, I don't want that 2D sink. I want the Sink Kitchen Double, which is 42 by 21. Come over in this direction. You can hit the space bar to rotate it around, and now I'm going to try to place this right in this area. I can already see that the sink hole isn't going to be big enough, but that's okay. We can adjust it after the fact. Click in order to place that right in that location. Technically, we wouldn't even need to adjust that hole for the sink if we didn't need to. The only reason why we might actually adjust it is because in this case, the hole for where the sink is going to be sitting is really only that big and you'd only see that in a 3D view. But let's take the time to make that adjustment. 
So if you select there on the countertop, I'm going to scroll down here, and I can see that there's a couple of different dimensions here related to the sink opening, including the depth and the width. So that's going to be the overall dimensions of this particular opening. Well, I'm going to assume that since it's one foot three is the depth, that's going to go from here to here. And that looks about right, so it's really the width that needs to be adjusted. Now, I'm not sure the exact width this is going to need to be. So I'm going to change this to be three foot, just for starters, and see how big that three foot dimension looks. It's close. I'm now going to do three foot three. Take another look at it. That's just about right. The only problem is now is that the hole there for where the sink is at needs to now be moved down again. So once again, we're going to change the location for this. And in this case, I'll type in three foot six just to see what the difference is. And we can see that now that opening is just perfect for where those sink basins need to go. This process that we just did is not just for such things as sinks. Pretty much anything that would be considered a component family would get placed in in this way. There's nothing wrong with 2D if you only need to see it two-dimensional in that specific view. In the case of a plan view, if this is going to be the only spot I would ever see these sinks, then loading in two-dimensional sinks is fine because it'll show up and document appropriately. And finally, if we're going to place a three-dimensional sink into the plan, make sure to choose a three-dimensional sink, then shift it to place it in the appropriate location.